<laughs> we finally got you in a building. Finally. What's going on with you though? Nothing. What's man, up with it? Man. We finally got you flying in a cockpit, man. Jump jump out of and tell the people who you is, what you do, and where you from. Please let us know. Uh Chrissy Cola, you know. I'm from San Francisco. You feel me? <laughs> Your phone tripping. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. So, so up, Chrissy, Chris, Chris, Chrissy Cola, you know what I mean? You, 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 you've been blazing for a minute though. You've been blazing for a minute though. Like, 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 really? how, how, how do it feel? How do it feel to, to, to be kind of close a little bit now? Kind of close to what? <laughs> I, I'm saying kind of close to where you're trying to get to. I mean, from just rapping and doing regular rapping to, I mean, I, I, you've been blazing. Everything you've been on, you've been like fight killing it. You've been killing it. So I'm saying just from being a regular, just going to the studio to now, like people know you, like the, the people that's in the game know you, like how that feels. It's big, actually. It's really, really big. I was just really excited the other day when I dropped Eat It. Like, the female re reaction that I got back, like, I still be smiling off that every day, for real. <laughs> yeah, man. It feel good. It feel good. <laughs> so so, so where, where, do you, where do your inspiration come from? My inspiration come from... Um experiences you know shit that i've been through shit that i'm going through have been through yeah from different artists you know different artists inspired me you know so, so i mean you you got you you i'll I be seeing you on so many different tracks you got so many different styles like you know what what, what would you what would you say you bring to the rap game um, I guess just versatility, cause as you as like you just said, I do got like hella different little ways. Like it depends on how the beat hit me, uh, how I'm gonna come on that motherfucker. It depends on how I'm feeling, you know. I be making yeah, girlier yeah. music. Sometimes I be sliding. It depends. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, well, <clears throat> you know what? With, with with the female rap being the way it is, and you know, er everything being glorified for this and being glorified for that. How, how do you deal with, with the dating and the men, you know, coming at you? And how, how, how do you kind of curve it? How do you deal with it? How do you separate the fans from people that's just got ill intentions? Like, how, how do you separate it? Just being a, you know, a nice looking young lady that could rap. Like, honestly, for real, like people, they approach me and shit, but like, me just being in the streets, like, I learned, like, you can't be, like, hella just dismissive to people. You know what I mean? You got to know how to, like, turn people down and still, but still be cool with people at the same time. You know what I mean? To where you're not coming off disrespectful or rude, but you're setting the tone for this is what it is. You know? So people say stuff to me, and um, depending on what they say, I might laugh at it or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, you hella funny, you know, or something like that, but, or... uh. Or I might not say nothing at all, depending on what they saying to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, so basically, you gonna you gonna kill them with kindness until you ain't got to. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what's up. That's what's yeah. up. That, I mean, that's that's the best way to stay positive, right? Yeah, it is. It don't, it takes too much energy to just be hella rude all day. I don't. I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. That's what's up. So, so what do you? So, huh? I oh, yeah, it's all good. It's good. Okay. It's good. It's good. So, so I was saying, like, you know, what, 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 what do you want from the rap game? Like, now that you're in it, like, what, what do you see you want from it now? What do you want from it? I want, I want to be able to be in front of a big ass crowd and everybody sing my song. Mm. <laughs> okay. Like, I want to make some shit that just people could really, 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 really feel. It ain't necessarily about them. I mean, of course, who don't want the money and shit like that? Yeah, but I think I just want people to more, like, see my passion. So, 
So, yeah, so, I just, so I, it mean, so it mean a lot to you when a when a fan be like, "Ooh, that song kind of moved me," or it made me feel better. It made my day a little bit better because you was busting that shit. Yeah, I get my satisfaction from that. Like, okay, you fuck with me. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. 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 Man, so 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 what is what is what is your process? Because it, it sounds so Chris, do do you write? Do you do you write, you know, do it take you a long time to write? How how long do it take you to study a song? Okay, like depending on who make the beats, like what I've noticed, like it depends. What I've That's noticed, right? <laughs> Hold on. Okay, so look, what I've noticed is like like let's say the producer Doughboy. Like, I don't know what it is about his beats, but when they come on, it just, I could start, I could start getting to a song hella fast. But like mm. other people beats, it'd be taking me a little longer. And then it'd be depending on my mood and shit too. Like if I'm mad or if I'm, if I'm happy, like, you know what I'm saying? Depending on how I'm feeling, how fast I can write and what I'm mad about. But I usually write fast when I'm upset or irritated about something. Um, and um, I'll be I'll be freestyling like I freestyle probably like four songs. <laughs> okay, okay. It's when I was like kind of rapping a little bit slower, like you can kind of tell. But like I kind of like writing more because I used to write a lot of poetry, so it's like I like writing more. Oh, so so that's where it started from the poetry game. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, so that means you you really passionate about writing. You passionate. Yeah, about I used to like I used to like win like contests in school and shit, uh, writing poetry and shit. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. And then like my brothers and them, they all rap. Like my brother Charles, that nigga. I said it before in one of my other interviews. Like that nigga just amazed me. Like he one of them type of people. I don't know why he never did nothing with his music, but you could turn a beat on. And that nigga finna go crazy from the front to the back. No writing, no pen, no nothing. Like, drop the beat. And that, like, made me want to turn my stuff into actual music. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's it's just crazy because just, I, I just know as, as, as being an A&R and just being behind the scenes, it's crazy to actually ride a beat and get that right punchline on a part of the beat that you want to get it on. And it just seemed like you kind of perfected that over the years to, to be right in the pocket. And I know you know exactly what I mean about saying what you got to say right when that beat hit at the right time. That Like, that takes studying. And it's like, for you to for you to hear the beat and to just go in like that, it's just like, man, like, your mind is an instrument. Thank you. Like, honestly, for real, I, like, really be challenging myself. Like, I've lately I've been challenging myself to not, like, try to cuss as much. You know what I mean? Like, because, like, I be I get into the habit of that. So I've been trying not to cuss as much. And, um, like, I always feel like it's hella more room for improvement. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like I got it all the way mastered yet or nothing. Like, I ain't even got nowhere near where I feel like I could get. So every time I go to the studio, I feel like I get better and better and better every mm -hmm. time. And how and how and how do how do you practice? Are you studying the beat or are you studying your voice more? Um, I be paying attention to. I do not like my voice. Oh my god! Like sometimes I'm starting to warm up to it. Like as people like my songs, I'm starting to warm up to it. Like okay people other people like my voice but me myself like i be sounding so aggressive like <laughs> i be i be sounding so much and then i listen to it, i be like i sound like a fucking man like bro <laughs> <laughs> like it be hella funny because it be like bro okay like and then like so, but like certain songs depending on how i'm what i'm talking about like if i make a girlier song i will like purposely change my voice like i will make sure like okay i have to make sure i'm talking softer in the mic on this because this is not that we finna kill everybody we finna shoot everybody today <laughs> you can't I, like, I, I like yeah, i yeah. like when you i like when you do it and i like that you don't do the, the barbie shit no. I, I, I like i like i like when you do i mean a lot of women tend to do that they tend to go to that voice and and, and i know i don't know if it's by habit 
or what, but I'm I'm glad I don't be seeing you doing that. That that let me know that you from the bay. When you don't do that, I'll be like <laughs> I'll be like, thank you, thank you that you don't do that. No thank Barbie. You. You know, I, I look like a Barbie, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I look like a Barbie, though. But nah, I can't do the Barbie on the mic, man. Man. It got to stay, it got to stay raw and cut. And then I was asking, like, people the other day, like, when I was on my own live, I'm like, hey, like, what y'all, y'all want to hear some girly shit? Or y'all want to hear that shit? They want to hear that shit. They want to hear. They don't even be <laughs> want to hear that watered down shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 but but, but you, 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 I mean, but you gotta mix it up, though. You gotta mix it up. It's a it's a lot of females that want to hear that shit that you got that little slow shit, that slow flow. They they want you to talk to them. Like this one I'm about to shoot. It's gonna be in the strip club. <sighs> <laughs> it's about to be I, I, I've been seeing the little flyers. I've been seeing the little flyers. I was like, that looked like that's gonna be lit. It's gonna be exclusive. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> that's, gonna that's gonna be exciting. You know, I, I, I might do a little one two on there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, that, so what? So, what? Do, what do you think about the current state of the rap game? Because it's really done changed, like in the last five. So, like, when when you look at it and you see what's going on, like, do you see it as competition? Do you see it as empowering? Do you see it as, like, I'm next because these hoes is weak? Like, like what, what do you see the state of the game as? Honestly, I really see it as empowerment with what's going on because it's just, like, honestly, some, somebody told me, and I was listening to myself, too, you could really make a song saying, bebop, boobop, somebody going to like that shit. So it's like, who's, and my thing is with the way times is, people always looking for the next best thing. So who's to say that the next best thing ain't me? You know what I mean? Uh, like, who, who's is. to say that it's not? And that goes for anything that anybody doing. I don't give a fuck if you doing hair, if you selling dope, if you whatever, whatever. Who's to say that you not the next best thing that's going to rise up? So you just got to be true to yourself. We all got our own lane. So I don't really like to look at other people as really weak for real for real like i don't really like to look at them like oh they hella weak because somebody like they shit i don't gotta be for my ears it don't gotta be for my ears for nobody to like it you know what i mean mm -hmm. somebody liking that shit and i just feel like i do sound a little different from a lot of the girls that i hear in the bay area i do sound a little different and i don't know i don't know exactly why that is but <laughs> i do sound a little different and but I, I mean, it is what it is, you know. We all, we all. Just, you know, it just, it just, shout it out, just sound like you did a little. Shout out to all the bitches that. Shout out to all the bitches that's rapping in the bay, man. Do y'all shit, well, bro. Well, give, give us, give Join us, up. give us some of your influences. Who, who is, who is some of your influence that you was listening to that gave you some, you know, little motivation to, to do your career? Oh, my shit is men. <laughs> <laughs> My shit is men, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it might be a couple of uh females and shit, but they more like more of the bigger females or whatever. But um yeah, my shit is mostly men when it comes to like more local people or whatever. Okay, okay, okay. So so who 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 would who who would you wanna work with? You know, who is your dream artist that you would wanna work with that you feel like like you, you, you want to get on the track with them just because you want it to be, you know, epic. Hold on, I think. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Chrissy Coca Cola. Yeah, bro, I had to grab my food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so look. So honestly, I want to do a song with. And it's gonna sound hella weird. I want to do a song with R and B artists. Mm. I want to do a song so, with like Chris Brown or somebody like. So that means so that means you gonna slow it all the way up then, and you are gonna be sexy. No, it, it ain't no more booty shorts, and you gonna get sexy, and you gonna let Chris sing to you. You gonna bust that sixteen. <laughs> I really got, I really got songs like that. Like honestly, I do. I have songs. Well, like we that. need like, to hear them, man. We need to hear them. You already got this little Ashanti vibe. We want to hear the rap shit, though. We want to hear the rap shit vibe of it. So we 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 gonna look forward to that. 
I just want Chris to sing on the hook for me. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> are, if we, we we should look forward to that. We should be looking. Is, is that what we going to get? Man, on, we going to speak that show? shit into existence, man. I'm going to get that. <laughs> I'm going to get that one of these days, man. <laughs> Watch watch out then, Chris. Watch out, Chris. We coming for you. <laughs> they so laugh. Yeah, so 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 you know at the, they laugh. So you know, just just wrap wrapping it up a little bit, man. We just we, we want you to give some some motivation and some inspiration to 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 the ladies that wanna rap, you know, the ladies that wanna do anything. We we just wanna want you to give them something to them times when you wanted to give up them times when you was like, fuck this shit and you just decided to keep going. Like, we want to get that advice from you and Honestly, let that know. happened to me last month. You know, I went through some really, I went through some real life changing shit last month and um, I damn near was just ready to stop then and I was just like, man, you know, I got all this stuff lined up and then I really thought about it like, if I stop, what the fuck I'm gonna do? Hmm. What I'm gonna do? Like, this is me. If you if there's something that you're passionate about, something that you love doing, whatever it is, stick to that shit until you get your full satisfaction out of it. Don't let nothing stop you from doing it because you always gonna have problems. Just like what I was gonna let that stop me, and then what my problems was supposed to be over because I stopped doing music and that happened. Like no, I'm gonna have another problem probably in a couple of months, and then another month after that. Like it's this it's life, it's life. So it's like. You just gotta shut that shit up, bro. Fuck it. Keep going. Say don't, fuck don't, it. don't let don't let life beat you. You could beat life. Say it again, your phone went out. I, I said don't let life beat you. You could beat life. Period. You you create mm -hmm. your own happiness. Like you could sit there and something could really knock you all the way off your square. And you know, shit do be knocking me down. You know, I might take a little like, you know, a few hours to myself or whatever or take a day to myself or whatever the case may be but then i'll be having to shake that shit because it's like bro what it, my thing is hey i was raised with sharks what you gonna do you gonna sink or swim for sure for sure i i'm not sinking i don't give a fuck what's going on like <laughs> you know it, it is what it is shit you gonna let some shit take you all the way out or you gonna keep bobbing around this motherfucker and it really just be coming down to that like how strong are you really that's man. That's some real shit. That's some real shit, man. Well, we 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 appreciate you, man. We are gonna be looking okay. forward to your new music. Please tell us what you got coming. What should we yeah, be looking you know, for? You know, y'all y'all keep on looking out on Thizzler and my channel and shit, man. On my YouTube or whatever, Chrissy Cola on all platforms. Next, I got um X Factor Scat Pack gonna be dropping in about another like two weeks or something on Thizzler. After that, I'm gonna drop Scam Dance on they ass. Then it's, it's I gotta gotta got, got some shit like that. Stay okay, you, tuned. Put put your binoculars on because she coming straight at you. <laughs> we appreciate you for coming, man. Tap back in with me, man. All right, thank you. For sure.